the benefit of this machine is the power. So we're putting a 24mm U-drill down this, um, which is it's quite a big U-drill for a slider. I'm here at Key Precision in Canuck, and I'm with Greg, stood in front of their brand new Dugard Hanoir XD38. Greg, why did you purchase this machine? We were looking for to expand our uh, bigger turning capacity um, with the flexibility of a slider, but having the fixed head capability as well. I saw this machine at um, Southern Manufacturing, and I was impressed, so uh, we went for it. What caught your eye at Southern Manufacturing about this machine? Um, was it the tooling? Was it the speed of the machine? It was really it was the, the relatively small footprint for the size of a bar that we can do. Um, good solid casting, um, and I think a lot of the machines have been well thought out. The, um, the, the swark and they have been integrated from from the manufacturer. Um, you can just see there's no no oil traps, no swark traps. You know, good for no leaks and. Um, as I say, you can see we're, we're stuck for space, so it's a nice compact machine. Yeah, definitely. So what application are you putting on this machine? You're a subcontractor as a company, so what sort of parts are we making on here? Um, at, at the minute we're doing uh, parts 35mm plus, um, it's normally running 40mm bar, um, but basically we, we, we are proper subcontractors, we do parts for cars, trains, planes, handbags. <laughs> um, we're doing a lot at the minute um, for the agricultural industry. Um, so it's, it's harder steels, um, crown steels, EN24s, EN19s, and um, it's, it's been performing well. So this machine will be put through its paces with all of the materials that you've just mentioned and obviously all the industries that you're going to be working in. What about the tooling? I heard you say there's something about 25% tool life saving. Yeah, well, that, that is a, you know, it's been a, a nice welcome surprise for us. Um, so we, we've obviously, a lot of the jobs, the repeat jobs, um, we've, we've done them many times and say 25%, some jobs up to 35%, um, and it, it's obviously at the minute with prices rising, it's made a big big, big saving for us. So the part that we've got on here, um, we're using that as a fixed head, but it is a sliding head machine. What's the benefit of being able to swap between those two functions? The, the big benefit for us is on, on this particular component and, and shorter components, it, it's the saving on bar. So, I mean, steel prices have tripled in the last two years, so you know, any extra parts you can get per bar makes a big difference. Um, so this, this part is only 10mm long, 35mm bar, we're, um, we're getting an extra 15 parts per bar, so it's, uh, you know, it, it really starts to pay. And this is the part that you're making on this machine, so talk to me and the viewers at home how you run this application. Uh, so this particular part, it's made of, it, it's um, carbon steel, um, it's, a, it's a banjo basically, fl fl fluid transfer, nice simple job really for a slider, but the benefit of this machine is it's the power. So we're putting a 24mm U-drill down this, um, which is it's quite a big U-drill for you a slider. You don't normally hear of a 24mm U-drill on a, on a size machine like this, do you? Well, so no, but this machine, it's got a, most machines this size will have five 32mm uh, sleeves on the front. So it gives us plenty of space to get big, big, U, big drills and big boring bars in there, which again helps with our tool management. Definitely, yeah. So what about these two holes on the top? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, this, again, five, five pair of tools on there. Um, this job, it's cross drilling into a tapered bore, so it, it needs a rigidity there to, to stop it pulling off uh, out the hole on the side. So this is quite a quick part for you to be able to just run on this machine? Yeah, as you say, bread and butter, this, this particular job, 10,000 a month, and it's say probably three, four days it's finished. So the part you were making before is uh, completely different to what we've just seen. So talk to me about this application because it looks fantastic. Yeah, well, this is it's a, a cosmetic part. It has to be um, crown plated after, so surface finish is key. Um, so it's a nice, perfect job for a slider, really, because it's, it's half on the front, half on the back. Um, so heavy turning on the front and a nice bit of milling on the back. So this, this, we drop this off finished and say the tool life is, this is where we've really noticed it. Um, it's, it's a... EN 24T, so you know, which can be stringy on a slider, but this machine's got the power to chip um, and the save the tool life has been amazing. Yeah, so you're doing this in one sh one shot, aren't you? You're not transferring, taking it out and transferring no, it No, no, so yeah, dropped on the front, so we rough turning, finished turning, threading on the front, transferring and uh, drilling, boring and milling on the back. So the mill bit in the middle, how are you doing that process? So that, that's been, it's milled with a, I think it's a two and a half mm mill, but we interpolate on there. Um, we've, we've tried it two ways. We've used, tried using the y-axis and we've, we've, we've rolled it in interpolation. Find we get it's easier to control the size and the, uh, the finish with it rolling in. 
there's an external thread on the back of this part and it looks like you're taking big cuts out of that. How does the machine cope with the heavy load to take big chips like that? Yeah, so this is it's 40 mil um, EN2014, we're coming down to, that's an M18 thread. Um, we, we're doing it in two passes, uh, so I think we're taking a four mil aside on the, on the roughing pass uh, at 0.35 feed and the machine doesn't make a sound. Tool life's brilliant. You know, it, it really it chips well, so it, you know it makes a massive difference when you can get material away that fast. You've had this machine six weeks. It's been up and running. It's been increasing productivity for your company. Would you recommend it to anybody? Yeah, say so it's been in there six weeks, and it's been running for six four weeks, um, day and night and weekends. Um, hasn't missed a beat yet. So def yeah, I definitely recommend it, provided it carries on performing as it is.